and they filed a countersuit against Trailburger, saying that they were cut out of the company and that was their idea. Our Micah Hatfield joining us now live from the restaurant to make sense of all of these claims that are going on, Micah. There's a lot of back and forth accusations here. The issue between the two parties happened long before Trillburger opened here on Shepherd and Richmond back when it was actually just a pop up. You know, people are standing in line for hours to get a chance to eat the Trillburger. That was Patsy and Benson's doing. Depending on who you ask, they may or may not agree with that statement. Siblings Patsy and Benson Vivarez owned Sticky's Chicken, a now shuttered restaurant in Sawyer Yards that Trillburger operated through when it was a pop up. The Vivarez were partners with rapper Bun B and two others, and the siblings' attorney claims they're the ones who came up with the burger recipe that has people lining up down the side. Vivarez are no longer part of Trillburgers as of the summer of 2022. The business's attorney says Bun B and the other partners decided to part ways after Patsy Vivarez sent a text saying she took $45,000 to put towards her other restaurant, Stickies. The lawsuit also claims that the Vivarez won't hand over control of the website domain trillburgers.com. But you can't allow partners to misappropriate funds. And we, although we know about $45,000, we don't know about the total amount. The Vivarez are countersuing, saying their restaurant stickies propped up Trillburger to be what it is today, but they were cut out. If you think of a Nike swoosh, we were just like right at the bottom of the swoosh and then it went up exponentially. So, um, you know, they're living this life that Patsy and Benson should totally have got. He's chicken. We never stole the money. We never stole anything. Yeah. The Vivarises deny the claim and they've countersued. The flavor profile of it, uh, that's what we invented. Like the and caramelized the onions, the spices that we put in the meat, like that's that was all us. The actual creators of the Troll Burger, a recipe that's driving a business they claim they're being cut out of. What they've done this is for is to freeze them out, to cut them out of the business. Mm -hmm. People change when they see my Factor uncensored. The legal battle over Trill Burgers is far from over, as we all know in the courts here in the city of Houston. But that didn't stop Bumby, one of the owners, from telling his side of the story on Instagram Live today. Bun took to the social media platform to say this about the ongoing dispute between the individuals fighting over the popular burger joint. The story doesn't tell everything. The story that the news is putting out does not completely tell everything um, about the case. The first thing is that, you know, the court order does not say that the the, um, the bank accounts are frozen. They're not frozen at all. The daily operations will commence. Um, the only reason that we were even taking salaries um, which were very small. It was only $5,000 a month. And the only reason we were taking salaries were because we had been doing so much for free. Like, I had never taken any money from Trill Burgers. Let's just be clear. Um, these people tried to paint me as a thief in their public statements that I stole money from them, um, which they could not testify to when we went to court. Because <clears throat> we all know that's a lie. There's no physical proof because of me taking anything because I never took anything. Um, and we got a lot of great testimony that we think will help us in the long run because this is only like a small like here and we're going to go in and we're going to peel this stuff anyway. This is just what happens in business. You know what I'm saying? Well, if you're, if you're not getting sued in business, you're not successful. Now, at the heart of this case, the current owners of Trill Burgers are suing. Also, the co-founders alleging they've mishandled thousands of company dollars by investing in a chicken business that has since shut down. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and the conversation is continuing in this legal battle with Bun B, his two partners, and the Vivaruses over the structure that y'all keep seeing about Trill Burger. And I had the links in the description where y'all can watch the clips in the beginning in full at and I put those there to show a little bit of the backstory, what's been going on as Fox has been covering, as y'all saw right there, Isaiah Carey yesterday, because this is the first time Bun B has went directly through social media and denied the claims that we ain't stole nothing, we ain't took nothing, and the things that's getting put in the news and things like that are not true at all. And I'm going to tell you like this right here. 
I can't sit up here and sugarcoat it, and I'm going to just tell y'all the real about it. The Vavarises, they family, they might have, as they said. They did come with a recipe and things like that. We were working together in the beginning when the pop-ups were coming on. But y'all contribution is not why the people are coming up there to support it. I got to keep it all the way a thousand with them. And I'm going to get it to the write up in just a second because rest in peace to Pimp C, the legend, him, not them. One of the founders of this game in the South, one of the founders and one of the most respected factors in hip hop. If you know your true history, what UGK brought to the game, it just is what it is, bro. What he was pushing and things like that, the quality classic albums that they put out, is what's drawing the people here, bro. The word trill is what's drawing the people here. Bun B being a factor, somebody that's in the game, somebody that's in the industry, somebody that the people love and respect is what have the people pulling up. It's a thousand burger spots in Houston, bro. We gonna keep it all the way a thousand. That's what we do out here, bro. We eat food trucks, burger spots, taco trucks, all type of restaurants. You have to have some type of perception for it to turn up like that and make your stand out. Can quality food and recipes sell? For sure. People going to always pull up when the food cook good. But to turn it up like this is not what they had going on. But in the court matters, they going to look at it like this. But Bun B is saying, I'm the one. You know what I'm saying? How we rocking. And, and he, he ain't saying that, but come on. His relationships in the game got the rappers pulling up. Got the people pulling up. And I can attest to this myself because people asking me about it. Hey, man, I'm out in the Galleria yesterday. The uh, One of the supporters, shout out to him from St. Louis. I forgot bro name, but he know who he is. He came up to me saying, man, I watched the channel. Man, I'm trying to pull up on uh, Trill Burger, bro. See who I up there. Bun B might be up there. Man, I rock with Bun B. I rock with the whole Trill movement out here and things like that. And I'm like, man. That's crazy because you see it when you pull up there, the line and everything like that. They was doing the pops up, pop ups. That line was long already in itself before they had the brick and mortar spot. So it's really perception as well. People going to enjoy the food, but that's not what's getting the people all the way there. That word trill is a C minute thing in rapid hip hop culture. And that's what's turning it up, bro. Not just that burger recipe. That's not downplaying the recipe, but I'm keeping it all the way a thousand with them, with the history that goes with this, with UGK and Pimp C and things like that. As the write-up says this, on May 23rd, the presiding judge ruled in favor of the Vavarses, granting the injunction against Trill Burgers, its related companies and owners. As a result, the off-viral smash burger restaurant is still open for business, just with its hands tied behind its back. In turn, the Vavars has testified they launched the concept social media accounts and the original website, trillburgers.com. Patsy said she offered to sell the domain back for $50,000. She then said the Trill Burgers team threatened to sue. Porpe said Patsy's testimony was true, but the Trill Burgers team never threatened her. Last week's ruling put a stop to a number of things. Firstly, the monthly $5,000 checks to Bun B, Schofield, and Wynn are stopped until further notice. Secondly, all funds from the restaurant and its related LLCs will be funneled into a constructive trust. No assets will be allowed to leave that trust until the case is finally resolved. Finally, the Vavarises and their attorneys will get monthly reports on all financial activity from the various LLCs that were formed after they were separated from the company. Additionally, they must be notified two weeks in advance of any transactions or financial activities exceeding $10,000. And as I said before, bro, a lot of times it's smash burgers all over Houston. It's smash burgers all over the country, bro. Most definitely, you can like a smash burger more than the other, but it's the perception, it's the brand, dog. This is just how this game goes at times. But when you see them trying to sell the website back for fifty thousand now and things of that nature, you see this is how business go. They gonna have a side, they gonna have a side. I think I can speak for the culture and be a thousand with anybody and tell you exactly why we are pulling up. Now, if you would have dumped money into the to the business. If you would have been investing in the business and supposed to be a partner in the business, and this is something you came out of your pocket to invest into, and I'm talking about really don't put in pocket, you know, investing in paper, and then you didn't get your return on it and they ran off on you. 
I would understand that a little bit more, just keeping it all the way a thousand. But it's things that I don't know what's going on with it. Everything will come out eventually, but it's still ongoing. Bon B said he ain't did no stealing or nothing like that. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos. I'll let 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.